Hello, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Kurt from Pray the Gospel, and this is a little bit of an update video. So if you remember, about six, maybe seven months ago, according to my list of videos here, I made a couple of videos about Google Maps and how you can share the gospel, at least indirectly, using Google Maps. So you see this one here. Check these videos out, please. It's very, very good stuff. I think you will like it. And... I'd like to say that there's no excuse to not share the gospel. You can do it in very, 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 very ridiculously, super califragilistic, expialidociously easy ways like this and other ways. Now, uh, it says share the gospel on Google Maps, part one of the two, and then there's part two of two right there. And I don't think I made any other videos after that about this option. Uh, maybe I did, maybe I didn't, I don't know, but it's... Um, check out what we have done so far. Well, first, I want to talk to you about what my friend has done. So he shared this uh, with me earlier, and he's got, what, 12? No, 20 photos here. 22,000 views, almost 23,000 views. So I'm just going to pick a random one. Uh, it's the top left one. Let's go there. Now I'll click on this, and let's see what he did. So you zoom in a little bit. It says negod.net. You got that net, you got that net. And obviously you can zoom around. Now he has taken pictures in the Chicago area and the St. Augustine area, which is in Florida. I think he went on vacation there once, but you can see how many views that some of these have. Like this one right here, the um, on the right side, second from the top, almost 6,000 views. It says the Legends at Orange Lake Resort, wherever that is. Let's see what he did there. So I kind of think of this as like little Easter eggs, how you can hide little things in, the, in um, these pictures, these photospheres as what they're called. So let's see, where is the one on here? I don't, oh wait, there we go. Negod.net. Now, for the record, I just want to be absolutely clear. Negod.com is Living Waters' website. Negod.net is very similar, and from what I have seen I, I i'll be honest i haven't thoroughly thoroughly checked it out i haven't combed it over and did all the checking to make sure that they are accurate as far as doctrine but what i've seen so far they are pretty good so i just want to be very you know clear about that <laughs> you know just in case like you know there's something that i find out later and oh wait kurt from parade the gospel is endorsing them well just hold on i mean i really should have done my homework a little bit more but i'm pretty confident that they are solid but you want to do that whenever you use a gospel tract. You want to make absolutely sure that, you know, what it is is solid doctrine. So let's go to the bottom right. Let's just do one more real quick. Uh, well, oops, I got to go here. Um, and you can use just even a simple piece of paper. You can make a sign up like he has done, uh, or you can use a piece of paper. I think this is one of the first ones that he did, and he sent it to me way back when. I remember seeing that one. Um Wait, I think like one of these has like a piece of paper that he simply used. I mean, you could be anywhere, guys. You have a cell phone, you can do this. You can literally do this in your house if you wanted to. I probably wouldn't uh, because they can track down where you live and come knocking on your door and be like, hey, what's this thing that you left down there? I don't know, but if you want, you could. Just go outside and go go for a walk and you can do it and people will see it. Um, yeah, here's just one more. There is one that I, he like had a piece of paper. I'm not going to spend too much time trying to look for it. But anyway, 23,000 views, you guys. And you can check out my videos on that to learn how to do this. Now, what I'm going to do right now is I am going to look at what um, my photos have done so far as far as reach. Now, I got an update in this email saying that one of them has 500 views. So let's go up here. And this only takes like... A minute or a couple minutes to do guys you can go anywhere so you know I live in the two rivers area next to Manitowoc I grew up in Manitowoc just for a little backstory there so let's go to the 500 view one which is this intersection uh, let's see not right there but right over here I think I have to go quick because I think that this um, screen recorder thing only lets me record for so much time and then it doesn't tell me when it's like done recording. Okay, so why is this being weird? It, it is right here. Um, am I in the right app? 
I don't think I am. Here, this is the app right here. You want to get the street view thing right here? Okay, now it'll work. All right, let's get that down. So I explained this app before. You can check out those videos. Now let's go to that same area. Let's see, Highway N, Intersection, Park and Ride. There, I'm the only one that's here. Click on it. I actually took this picture. Um, I went out early one morning, took the bike out, and did a bunch of curbside delivery with my mountain bike and just dropped off a ton of gospel tracks. So you got the fullyfreefilms.com. That's the fullyfreefilms.com mobile that I have. And sadly, I might have to say goodbye to this pretty soon because there's some transmission issues. But then, yeah, I got that neegod.net, and that was for my friend David, um, whose pictures that we have seen before. And uh, this guy right here, I actually talked to him. Uh, he works for the U.S. Postal Service. Hey, I work for them, too. So I got to chat with him for a little bit. Um, yeah, this is like really early in the morning. But right before then, I actually delivered gospel tracks up Highway N right here. Kept on going, kept on going. And I did like this huge section right here, like almost all of these streets. I have in my RunKeeper app everything recorded on there. But okay, so that was the five. Wait, how many views does that have currently? Let's uh, check that. Again, um, now I lost it. So off of Highway 10, and boom, let's go here. Okay, so 525 views since August 2021. All right, so let's quickly go to a couple more. Um, let's see. I did one right over here. Where'd it go? Sometimes when you zoom in, they disappear and they reappear, so you got to be careful about that. So here's another one. Oh, that's not mine. Maybe it's this one. Please work. Ah, here we go. Bird in the love. Uh, 634 views. I haven't checked these in a while, by the way. So this one's kind of messy. This is, like, I think, my second one I've ever have done. Or my third one, because I think the second one was the one for sake of, the, of uh, that video that I did. Nigod.com, or, yeah, Nigod.com. And then I also did it on the other side as well. So that has over 600 views. Um, this is on one day. I did that one, and I did the... Uh, this one in Appleton, right here. This has, so I got the Nigod.com thing, and this has 111 views. So some of them, not too much. I'm going to show you something, though. That you're gonna, you're, it's going to blow your mind how many views some of these can get. And then that same day, we did, let's see, Kimberly. I want to live in Kimberly someday. That's actually where, my, where I met my wife here at Sunset Park. We met in person for the first time. So I'll do this one, and... Again, got the Nigod.com thing, hopefully your soul. Um, 90 views. And Chloe makes a little cameo right there. And right there. My legless daughter. And then uh, I think there's a there's probably a couple more I'm not going to show in here be, just because I can't remember. Um, so let's do another one that I did not too long ago. Uh, the Cabin in the Woods. This is the mountain biking trail I love to go on. I do it like about every other day or so before I bike to work. So I bike about 30 miles a day sometimes. So this Cabin Out in the Woods. Um, uh, you can't read the sign right there. But yeah, so you got the Nigot.com thing. How many does this have? Uh, 126. There's one in here that's got like a ridiculous amount, number of views. I'm not going to try to find it right now because I might, it just might take too long. Um, the one I did in the video. Well, first let's go to my first ever one that I did. Uh, as I was just testing out this feature, and that would be, sorry, it takes me a little to find it here. Let's get the satellite view up and running. So here we go, right here on the beach. And I taught you guys that you can do beach carving. You can carve in websites when you're at the beach if you have one. This is 190 views, May of last year. So it's almost been a year. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. Some of my favorite ones just because of the location. I grew up right over here on Magnolia Avenue. So I got three of them here. It was actually supposed to be one, but I accidentally got two. This is a, it's got a personal meaning behind it, this branch right here. I'm not going to talk about it now, but there's something super important, believe it or not, about this branch where Nigod.com is written, 173. And the other one right alongside of it, 229. And then right over here, this is the prayer spot where I learned about the way of the master. I taught that. I told you guys that story before. I was on the prayer walk in 2005, and I met this guy down there, Jim Paulsine. Uh, 110 views if the thing will load. 
how much time, where am I at right now? Um, it doesn't tell me how much time this has been recording. So when you got negot.com, yeah, it's exactly this spot right here. Somebody left a punching bag. Uh, let's see, where is it? Up in the tree somewhere. I think it's right there. And there's like a little rip in it, so I left the gospel tract in there. Um, anyway, so, okay. There's probably a couple more I'm forgetting, but I want to move quickly. Oh, oh, yeah, I have to show this one. This is the one in that video. Okay, where is it? In the explanatory video that I did, which is my second one that I have ever done on the train trestle. And this one has 359 views. Now, you're just trusting in the sovereignty of God that he will use this. I want to hurry up because I don't know how much longer this is going to record. Sturgeon Bay, Door County is like one of my favorite places to go, period. I love biking here. I do a 100-mile bike ride uh, every year. Um, my first 113-mile bike ride that I have done uh, was starting here at Gill or just north of Gill's Rock, Northport, down to my house. In 2003, right before I graduated, 113 and a half miles, the route I took. Oh, that was so much fun. We used to go to Washington Island all the time, but I am getting off track. We used to go there as a family. My family, like my parents and my brothers. So, uh, Sunny's Pizzeria in Sturgeon Bay, let's see if I can find it, is right over here. Awesome place to go. But, I... Left a photo steer here when we were in Dark County one day. Negod.net. I have a fully free films.com one, which I haven't used yet. I made it, but I haven't used this. 194. One of these has like a lot, like in the tens of thousands, which it's not, it's often that you will see that. So 30,000 since June 2016. Um, I'm going to fly through this real quick. Um, I did make one at Eagles Tower over here. But I couldn't find it, so I don't know if it somehow got deleted. Like I said, sometimes you have to like zoom in and out, but I could not, could not find it earlier. You can actually see my whole family in the shot, but I'm not going to waste the time trying to find it right now. But you got a couple thousand views already from uh, since September of 2021, so that was just recent. Um, but I left a needgod.com or .net thing right where that bored out person is sitting. And then my family was over here, but yeah, they just rebuilt this tower. Pretty awesome. My wife and I actually had our anniversary in Door County. So there was one that had a humongous number of views. Now I can't think of where it was. Maybe I should pause the video as I think about it. But it was like in the hundreds of thousands. Maybe it was over here. I think it was. Probably Sunny's Pizzeria. It's just, uh, let's do the bottom one. 336,000 views 336,000 that is insane since July 2015 so again just trusting the sovereignty of God that he would that uh, he would use people to see something like that and out of curiosity people would check it out guys honestly if I see a website like hidden somewhere at random I check that stuff out and I'm sure other people do too so you never know how God's going to use it when it takes a few minutes you can do it too there's actually a number of hundred thousand views plus that I have seen um, I mean, you can just randomly go anywhere in the world. Let's go, I don't know, way, way, way here in Mongolia. Do, 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 do. Let's check out this one right there, out in the middle of nowhere. 11,000 views since June 2017. Is that a motorcycle? It takes a little bit to load up. But I love this app. I mean, you can just like do, like just go anywhere in the world. It's really awesome. There's also the Earth app right here google earth it's basically the same thing it's just a little bit uh, of a different um look to it like a 3d thing you got to click on something to get the blue lines and full spheres up and running but anyway guys check these videos out there's a couple more i probably haven't shown you just because i can't remember where all of mine are but it's been a while since i've done them and when it takes a few minutes it's a lot of fun Show me your photo spheres. Tell me where they are. You can have some fun with it, you know. Um, say about where it is, and we can try to look for it. That'd be kind of fun. But just trusting in the sovereignty of God. All right, I bab babbled on long enough. Please do this. Check out these videos. I'll put them down in the description below so that you do not forget and you know where they are. God bless. Talk to you later.